Hey, what's up guys, Mike Red Fox. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I install HiveOS onto my mining rigs. There's quite a few different ways to do this. I'm just gonna walk you through how I personally do it. So let's switch over here. Now there's two things you're gonna need. The first is gonna be the HiveOS image, which you can get from hiveon.com slash install, scroll down here, look for GPU. You can download it as a torrent or you can download it as a zip. The second thing you're gonna need is a application to take that image and put it onto a SSD or a USB drive. I'm gonna use an SSD in today's video. It's more stable, I think. Let me know your opinions down in the comment section below. So the application I'm gonna use to move it onto the SSD is Etcher. I've used it for a long time, I've had no problems, and that's just what I'm gonna use right now. So let's load up Etcher. This is the application, but there's one step that I need to do with this newly installed SSD that I put in the test bench. So what I need to do is initialize it. I'm gonna go over to disk management, open that up, and you can see it down here, disk zero, currently unallocated. I'm gonna create a new simple volume on that. Click next, click next. D is a great drive number, so I'm gonna use that. And I'm just gonna label it HIVE in all caps. Hit next, finish, and now that is formatting. All right, format is done. So back over to Etcher. I'm gonna hit flash from file, find that stable Hive OS image I downloaded earlier. Select my target, show to hidden. Now you're gonna see source drive. That's where your image is stored. Don't choose that. What you wanna do is choose where you wanna put it, which is gonna be for me, this SSD on the top in that location D. So select that, hit flash. Yes, I'm sure. And now we just wait. The flash is done, hooray. Let's take a look. So first thing you might get confused about is you're gonna go over to File Explorer and you're gonna be like, Mike, what the heck? My D drive is gone. It's okay, just go back to disk management, give that a refresh. There it is right here. And then you just gotta go click on Hive, change drive letter and pass and give it D again. It just needs another D. So we're gonna do that. And there it is, you're in good shape. The next thing we gotta walk through is how to get this connected to your Hive OS account. In your newly flashed drive, go ahead and click on rig config example, and you're gonna need to enter in three things at minimum on here. I always do farm hash, rig password, and rig ID. And this allows your new SSD with HiveOS to communicate to your HiveOS account. I'm not gonna show you how to create a HiveOS account in this video, because I believe you're a really smart person and you can figure that out on your own. What I am gonna show you how to do is add a worker and get this communicating to that SSD or USB drive you just made. So go ahead and click on the plus button here, add worker add rigs, connect existing. Now it's created a worker for you, but you need to get some information out of it to allow it to connect to that USB driver SSD that you just made. So go over in settings, you can see it has the ID, the farm hash, and even has the rig password down here. So you can copy all that information over to that text file, or what I'm gonna do is just, HiveOS is super great, and it gives you one you can download right here. So now that I have that downloaded, I'm gonna go to that folder, I'm gonna copy it, I'm gonna drop it right in here at the root of my Hive OS drive. Now, one thing I wanna do is make sure that this is actually a .conf, which it is, and not a .txt, and I'm gonna be in good shape. So now I can take this, put it into a rig, boot it from wherever, and it will communicate right back to my account in Hive OS. All right, if you have a display plugged into your rig, you should be seeing something like this where Hive OS is loading up. So I'm gonna let it load up, I'll show you what it finalizes at, and then we're gonna hop into my account and go from there. Oh, there's one other thing. In this case, I am running this rig off Wi-Fi. If you do an Ethernet, it'll just be ready to go, but I have to enter in Wi-Fi here to set that up. And it's just gonna walk you through scanning your networks, selecting your network, and putting your password. Okay, so over on my PC, and you can see the worker reported here, so it communicated right back to my HiveOS account with all the configuration that I did in that config file. And you can see what is picked up is the RTX 3080 12 gigabyte, which is what's in the test bench right next to me now. There's a couple more steps I'll walk you through just so we can get this thing mining. So the first thing I need to do, you'll see you probably got an error that it's missing a flight sheet. So I'm gonna head and enter a flight sheet. Flight sheet is just the instructions for this GPU to know where to mine to and where to, what wallet to use and all that. So let's go over here and I'm gonna create a new one. So I'm gonna go to my flight sheets page. I'll just walk you through that pretty quick. Coin I'm gonna pick is Firo. I already have my Zellcore wallet for Firo set up. If you need to add a wallet, you have the button right there. I'm gonna mine over to two miner solo in the US, because that's where I'm located. And then I know that TRX miner is the best miner to use uh, for the Firo mining algorithm, Firo Pow. So 
create new flight sheet. Got that created. I'm going to go back to my worker named Testbench over to flight sheets there. And now I'm just going to launch this flight sheet by hitting this little rocket icon. So that's launching. The miner will start. But one last thing I need to do is set the overclocks for this GPU. So I know that this GPU does pretty well with a 200 core clock and a 2200 memory overclock. I'm just going to leave the fan on auto, hit apply. I'll let this start mining and we'll just check back in and we'll wrap up this video. It's been a few minutes. You can see the 3080 12 gigabyte right now. Mining Fero 58.3 mega hash per second. I have no power limit set on this card and no lock core clock because it just seems to be best when I just let it run full tilt on the Progpile based algorithm. So that's it. And if you want to take a look at the miner, TRX miner, it's running right now in the shell. Same reported 58.34 mega hash per second, running a ton of wattage, pulling in line right now, 360 watts. So that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button if you did. Sub to the channel for more GPU mining content. I have a HiveOS referral link down in the description below in case you want to sign up. I very much appreciate it. You can also join my Discord if you want to chat. The link is in the description below. And as always, please take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video. Hooray.